guys, welcome to another episode of Sarap Sundays, where I take you through the Sarap or delicious food of the Philippines. Today I'm showing you a twist on a classic, a spin on a silog, which I like to call a corned beef silog waffle. Using our waffle iron to make a crispy rice waffle out of our garlic rice. And we're going to be using corned beef, which is super popular in the Philippines. It's usually eaten with pandesal, which is a Filipino breakfast roll. And it's often eaten with garlic rice and a fried egg to create corned beef silog. So we're gonna turn it all into a crispy rice waffle, top it with an egg, and it's going to be delicious. Crosby, I'm filming. <laughs> first things first, you need garlic rice to do this. And by the way, you can use this technique of using your waffle iron anytime you have leftover fried rice. It actually works best when you have cold rice since it can really crisp up in the waffle iron. So I made this garlic rice yesterday morning. You can see that's topped with a ton of fried garlic. And again, if you need instructions on how to make garlic rice, you can check out my last video. But it is so good. I also added some butter into this. It's, oh, it's so freaking delicious. What I would recommend actually is whenever you make garlic rice, just go ahead and make extra. It's just so delicious. It's the perfect hangover cure. And when you're helping over, you're not necessarily going to want to have to make garlic rice. So this is kind of a perfect way if you wake up on a Saturday morning after a few too many drinks, just turn on your waffle iron, throw some rice in, and you will have a delicious crispy rice waffle. So now that we have our garlic rice, what you actually want to do first is cook your corned beef a little bit. And you can actually do this right in your waffle iron. So I'm using this Pure Foods corned beef. This is a Filipino brand of corned beef. You can use whatever you want. I know that this is one of the more inexpensive brands on Amazon, which I'll link to below. And so this is definitely a good option. And one thing about corned beef is that obviously in America, it's not, you know, it's a canned meat product. It doesn't necessarily have that idea that it's high quality, it's quite cheap usually. But it was first introduced to the Philippines by American soldiers during World War II. And so because it was an imported product, it was actually seen as quite prestigious, similar to spam. And so it gained popularity, but it's also even given as gifts. It's, it kind of has a, a higher value in the Philippines than it does necessarily in America. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our corned beef and I already started preheating my waffle iron. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw it straight in there. Ooh. And you wanna make sure you drain it, by the way. And I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit. This is half a can of corned beef. And depending on how much you're making or how much you like corned beef, then you can use more or less. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cover that up. And we're gonna let that cook. The reason I personally like to cook it a little bit first, it's obviously, it's corned beef, it's already fully cooked. We're going to mix it into our garlic rice. We mainly want the rice on the outside, that way, the rice can get nice and crispy and delicious. So I like to just cook my corned beef a little bit first. You can also do this in a pan. A lot of people like to make corned beef with onions or they even like to use like the corned beef hash that already has some potatoes in it. So you're welcome to use whichever corned beef you like. And again, you're welcome to cook it in the pan and then mix it into the garlic rice. So in the meantime, I'm actually going to take the garlic rice and transfer it into a bowl. And the reason for this is that you can see that obviously the waffle iron is circular shape. It makes it way easier when you can take your container and just whoop, flip it onto your waffle iron and it, versus like spooning it individually because if you spoon whatever you're cooking onto the waffle iron, it won't necessarily cook evenly. So I like to throw it all into a bowl. And this is also the bowl that we'll mix the corned beef into. We're gonna mix that fried garlic so it's evenly dispersed with our rice. So let's just check on this. You can see there's some nice browning that's happened with our corned beef. So this actually already looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna transfer the corned beef into this container. Yeah, you can see, look at that browning. Yeah, that's the beauty of using a wall iron. It's non-stick, it, everything just kind of lifts right out. So here we have our cooked corned beef. Listen to this corned beef. Mmm, oh my gosh, I haven't had corned beef in so long. I <laughs> forgot how good it is. Okay, so time to make our garlic rice waffle. Super easy, you're basically gonna do the same thing. You're gonna spray it with oil, this is gonna help it come out easier. So 
I like to use this little, these little sprayers I got on Amazon. So this is filled with canola oil. If you have like a non-stick spray, then you can use that. We're gonna mix some of the corned beef into our rice. What I like to do is just kind of dump it in and try and get it like in the middle. You wanna evenly disperse the corned beef. I probably should have used a bigger bowl to mix this, but we'll make it work. So you can see it's mostly rice on the outside and we're going to take our waffle iron. Make sure it's heating up this entire time. One, two, three. And then take it out. And you see it's quite a lot. So you want to gently press it in. And we're going to take our waffle iron and just press it down. And this will help. Start to press it. And then just try and cave in the edges. And you might not have as much rice as I, I do. I think this is about two and a half or three cups of rice. So you want to just distribute the rice evenly around. Don't worry if there's some straggling rice, but you want to try and make it an even circle and then press it down. Really press it. You can hear it like, and this is really going to give you that waffle shape and that nice sear on the rice. And it's also gonna do, again, this is cold rice. The inside parts of the rice are gonna be nice and soft and steamy, and then the outside will be nice and crispy. We're gonna basically just let this go and let it get nice and crispy. It usually takes like four or five minutes maybe. Um, and you can check it as you go. The thing is you do not wanna check it too early. If it che you check it too early before, it's really developed a nice crust. And when you open it, sometimes your rice waffle will just split apart, if that makes sense. So we're gonna let this go, take a little break. I'm gonna clean up a bit and then we're going to fry our egg. So while our corned beef and garlic rice waffle is going, I'm going to cook up our egg. So I have my nonstick pan here and I'm gonna go ahead and use the same oil sprayer to put a little oil in. I really love these oil sprayers since you can use a minimal amount of oil. So you can see here, it's quite easy. If you've been following me, then you know I have these gorgeous Japanese Taiyuan eggs. They have this bright orange yolk. They just taste so good. They're a little richer in terms of the yolk flavor and they're just beautiful. So I'm gonna use my last egg. I do have to really have to restock on these. So we're gonna just gently place it in. Try and get that yolk in the middle try and make this as pretty as possible. I'll probably, to be honest with you, cut off that little. And I'm gonna just season this with a little bit of salt. Just gonna eat it. I just love eggs. So this egg already looks good. Doesn't take long to make perfectly fried egg over and then I just transfer it to a plate so that it doesn't overcook. We want that yolk nice and runny. Have it. And now let's check on our garlic rice waffle. Moment of truth. Oh wow look at that. You can see it's starting to get these nice crispy edges, to be honest. I think I wanna let this go even longer, get it really nice and brown. So we'll just let that stay a little longer and you know, just for fun. I like this waffle iron, it like flips over. I don't know if it does anything, maybe the gravity will push the, the waffle down a little more. Bum, ba -da -da. Wow, I mean, it's just so beautiful. Wow, just crispy waffle. Deliciousness. Okay, so the easiest way I think to do this, take your plate, put it on top, and then flip that baby over. And this will make sure that you have your full, intact, awful, oh, it's so beautiful. For the gram, I want my, uh, and we're gonna unplug this. I want the other side to be showing, so you don't have to do this obviously, but I'm gonna just do another flip. 
Flip it and first it. Ooh, it's so good. Oh, it's so garlic and delicious. Okay, so now, mmm. Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> Just gonna slide that egg right on top. Oh, and voila, we have our corned beef garlic rice waffle. All right, time to eat it. Oh, can you listen in? Oh, my goodness. So you got that, that yolk in that crispy rice. Take this bite here. Mmm. It's so freaking good. I first made this five years ago. That's when I first started putting my leftover rice in my waffle iron, and guys, it this is just what you gotta do always. Mmm. It's salty, it's garlicky, and really so easy to make. Make sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel for future episodes of Syrup Sundays. Ingat!